And here's how we got beat. We got beat because... We were making fun of Donald Trump for having thrown away his ground game and doing some weird stuff online. We thought that they were, were idiots. It turned out we were the idiots. I'll play you the full clip in a moment. Trust me, it gets even better. I'm so glad the Democrats are finally realizing they played themselves in this game and lost because of their own blindness. They were so consumed by selfishness that they failed to see what was really happening. Trump gave up on the mainstream media a long time ago because he knows they're liars. Even during his presidency, he called them out repeatedly. This time around, he wasn't about to trust them either. He understood that the mainstream media is against him, against the people, and against the truth. That's why he turned to platforms with genuine audiences, people who actually want to hear what's real. When Trump went on a Dean Ross's podcast, many laughed at him, questioning why he would choose a podcast over traditional media. They couldn't understand why he would bypass a major TV network that could supposedly push him to the public. But Trump knew exactly what he was doing. He also went to Joe Rogan, one of the most influential voices in the world. Trump chose independent channels, podcasters, and influencers because they're the ones who care about the truth, care about the people, and don't bow to corporate narratives. Meanwhile, the mainstream media gave Kamala Harris every opportunity to spread her message, offering her a platform to mislead the public. But Trump was reaching millions, real people who are suffering, real people seeking truth and solutions. These weren't delusional viewers who still believe in the lies fed to them by traditional outlets. Trump spoke directly to the people who needed to hear the truth, and that's why he succeeded. The Democrats lost because they were selfish. They didn't care about the people, they only cared about themselves and their own interests. Now, they're starting to see that they were the real fools in this game. And here's how we got beat. We got beat because the Republicans and the conservatives built a different media system that had to do with online, had to do with podcasts, had to do with, with streaming platforms, and they were spending their money there. We were laughing at them and knocking on doors in Philadelphia and Detroit. It was like, there's no Trump people. They're not dropping literature. They're not dropping, dropping, uh, knocking on doors. Ha, well, in ha, fact, ha. It, was, it was laughing like, oh, Elon Musk and Charlie Kirk, yeah. their PACs don't we know were, what they're doing. We they're were, making, that we were making fun of Donald Trump for having thrown away his ground game and doing some weird stuff online. We thought that they were, were idiots. It turned out we were the idiots. We woke up in a body bag because while we were knocking on doors, they were making these phones into... 24 hour a day political weapons for themselves. And so we got outflanked, outplayed, outbeat by people who told us the whole time that they knew what they were doing and people are mad. And future and, 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 and uh, future forward, all these different groups that vacuumed up all this money and told everybody to sit down and shut up are going to be in for an accountability session from the grassroots and it is coming.